Hi everyone, uh, off on a walk again. Um, well, this is uh, different to coming out in January <laughs> doing stuff wrapped up in a scarf and everything. But um, yeah, I thought I'd uh, carry on with my musical testimony uh, this week. Um, so uh, last week I told you about probably one of my favorite um, Christian songs just of all time, um, the Ocean Floor song. Um, this uh, this week I want to go back, sort of rewind right to the beginning, um, to sort of my first experience with um, Christian music re really. So, um, so when I was a kid, I think, um, I think my only um, experience of Christian music was was in church or um, uh, like worship music kind of thing, um, but but when I got to um, when I got to high school, um, I um, some of my friends uh, some of my friends were like really getting into um, into rock music and um, and all sorts of different uh, different types of music and. Um, I was introduced uh, by my youth group, someone at my youth group, to um, to like Christian rock music, and it blew my mind. It was a, uh, it was it was ridiculous. It was like the first thing. It was the first time I'd ever even considered that um, that Christians could make music that was that was different, that wasn't just to be sung at church. There was uh, there was play to be enjoyed. They could use different instruments. They could sing in different ways. And um, and the first band that I was like introduced to was uh, was DC Talk. Um, DC Talk is a um, it's like it's a rock band that also um, kind of started off the uh, the movement for Christians getting into um, hip hop and rap in a mainstream kind of way. Um, and in in 1999, they um, they actually won a Grammy for um, uh, for their for their music, uh, like a, a mainstream award for for their music, which um, which is a huge marker in um, in Christian music um, sort of development, and and it opened the doors to uh, to loads of artists. Um, exploring, exploring hip hop, exploring rap, and exploring rock, um, and and yeah, it's a it's a massive kind of almost historical kind of moment where DC Talk won their won their Grammy um, for their um, uh, for their album Jesus Freak, and um, and Jesus Freak is the is a song I want to talk to you about today um, because um, Jesus Freak just kind of opened up my eyes to. Um, uh, not only that Christians could listen to, write, play, enjoy different styles of music, um, but um, but that the language that they use in in the songs could be um, could be contemporary. So I mean they talk about tattoos, they talk about um, they talk about different like types of cars in the song and um, and they talk about and they talk about Jesus in the same breath as everything else, so so it just could, it it did turn my world upside down because um, yeah it was just that first experience of um, really good Christian music. So it wasn't a choice of either listening to um, to hymns or listening to um, uh, mainstream music. It was um, uh, is that you could have genuinely good music um, in different genres that um, that sort of reflected my experience of being a Christian I, even even though I was only 11 um, it was really good to uh, to kind of hear that um, and one of the uh, the reason I'm really talking to you about it is not because it was my first experience of uh, like Christian Christian rock Christian rap music um, but uh, but that there was a um, there's a line in it, um, so um, so it's all about Jesus freak. They're all going to call me a Jesus freak. Um, um, what what will people think if they hear that I'm a Jesus freak? And that was really important to me um, to hear as a um, um, as a preteen 
um, because because yeah I was worried about that I was worried that people would um, sort of rip it out of me for um, for being too into uh, too into Jesus and being um, interested in that uh, in that kind of stuff um, but um, but they said what will people do if they hear that I'm a Jesus freak what will the people say if they find out that it's true um, and it was like is it it was a question that really really hit me um, and then and then a line in the song just goes I don't really care if they label me a Jesus freak because there ain't no disguise in the truth um, and and that was that was just really eye-opening about um, that people can label you whatever they want um, because because actually sometimes they label you something and and you know it's it's fairly on point so um uh, so i went into um i went into high school from um from that point on really um well uh, on and off I, I had ups and downs but um but i went into high school with with this thing in my head of like being a jesus freak and and almost sort of started to wear it as a bit of a badge of honor that um, I don't really care what you think about me like it's fine you can think what you want because um, like I am who I am kind of thing so it was that first kind of grapple with um, with labels and what people are gonna call me um, so yeah um, have a look in the uh, in the link below um, I've popped in a popped in a URL for Jesus Freak by DC Talk. Um, have a listen to that. Have a listen to the rest of the album. It's great. Um, I, and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a little bit dated now, um, and but it's it's excellent for anyone who is who enjoys um, rock music, um, who enjoys a little bit of um, slightly dated rap music, um, and anyone who anyone who is. Um, like fairly angsty as a teenager I think um, so, so yeah give it a go see what you think and uh, yeah I'll see you again next week see you later bye